life is so fast paced these days. Yeah. And there's there's so many highs and lows. Yeah. How do we how do we stay <laughs> centered and how do we stay uh, navigate mm -hmm. those extremes? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good question. And you spoke to it, the centered. You know, that's really what it is. It's finding center so that we can navigate and we can be with the highs and lows from a place of center. And a, and a way to, to, to think about it is, um, I call it a through line of truth. You know, because really what we're, what we're anchoring to is what is true in this moment and what is the truth of who I am that I can bring to this moment? How do I r respond to and be with what's happening from a, a really grounded, centered place of being? So the analogy is, um, like climbing. So when you're climbing, you're climbing a big granite face and you're going to be fairly exposed as we are in life, right? Vulnerable. And as we're climbing, we're climbing a crack, let's say. And as I'm climbing, I'm putting in pieces of, of what they call an anchor, I'm putting in anchors into that crack and I'm making sure they're really secure. And then we're threading the rope through those and then the rope's attached to me and off I go and I can explore from this place I've anchored to, truth, solidity, stability, I know that crack's stable, I've got the anchor in it. I can now explore from there out into life. I can go off in this direction, which can feel really risky, a high or a low, and go exploring, and knowing that I'm already connected to a true center line, a true sense of self that I've already discovered through my practices, meditation, stillness, awareness, conversations, working with teachers, all the different ways that we learn truth of life. To have that as my stability, I can explore in all sorts of different directions. And if I fall, I know I'm connected. So now with this beautiful through line anchored to self, I can get lost. I can, I can, I can go explore the highs and I can, when I say I can get lost, it means I can kind of go off and explore and if I start to get pulled off into that experience um, and start to believe that that's who I am, right? And it starts to feel out of balance, I go back to my center line. And so I can have my successes and not believe that those are the truth of who I am. I can have my failures and not believe those are the truth of who I am. I, mean, I can experience the whole bandwidth of life and not get swept away into the illusion that that's who I am. The center line is who I am. That's a beautiful metaphor. Yeah. And it's really an anchoring, a grounding, and a safety mm -hmm. spot that you're centering yourself to, right? Yeah, in, in, in what can seem a very unsafe world, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, there's, there's all sorts of nastiness that happens in the world and difficulties and conflicts and encounters and with all these, you know, of, um, complicated human beings and conditions. So we anchor to our truth and then we can go off and explore all sorts of these, these experiences in life and not get swept away in the emotion of them because we aren't looking for our truth anymore. We already have found it. Now we're just going out to have experiences, not to find our truth. We've already anchored to it. So a practice that gets you and finds you in that truth mm -hmm. on a regular basis, a daily basis, then brings you to a more familiar place. It's easier to come back to when you go off exploring the highs or encounter a difficult situation. That's it. That's exactly it. What we practice grows stronger. So we cultivate a deep relationship with our, our through line of truth, our truth. And then we don't have to worry so much when we're out there in the world um, about you know, getting, getting, uh, seeking our identity through all of our experiences. We can just have our experiences already knowing the truth of who we are.